Hello friends, this is Sandeep Chhabra. Today we will be discussing about reliability of the system. Starting with the definition of reliability. Reliability is the ability of the product to be reliable or to perform as expected over its stated period of time. Actually it is defined as probability that the product or a system or machinery performs its intended task or function for the stated period of the time under the specified operating conditions prescribed by the manufacturer. Since the reliability is expressed as probability, so naturally its value lies between 0 to 1. So the definition of reliability has focused on four important elements probability, time, performance and operating conditions. Starting with probability. As I stated, it's a probability, its value lies between 0 to 1. At the extreme, 0 means the system is no more reliable. Value is 1, it is 100% reliable. Its value is 80.8, then 80% of the components or 80% of the similar machines are reliable and it will perform till its stated life. So the probability of 95.95 means the 95 items out of 100 items will still be working well till the stated time under stated condition. The, stat the specified time is measured against which degree of system performance can be related. It is used to predict probability of an item surviving without failure for a designated period of time. Next is performance. Some criteria to define when the product has been failed. For example, refrigerator is intended to produce cooling effect, but it stops producing cooling effect. Mobile phone is not working well. Ink from the pen is leaking, which is not expected from the pen. The bearing of the fan start producing sound which is not a normal condition. Operating conditions actually each and every manufacturer defines the prescribed operating condition under which the system must run whether it is specified voltage, environmental conditions, humidity, vibration, shock, temperature, operational profile, etc. For example, the refrigerator must run within specified voltage limit, but the voltage falls very low or becomes very high. So its motor may burn. The mobile phone must not be in contact with water, but it has fallen into the water. The pan must be stored urgently but it was kept vertically so start leaking. The bearing of the fan should be lubricated at particular interval of time but it was not done. How to measure reliability? Now question arises how to measure? Actually it is the function of failure rate. First we have to define the failure rate. It is the ratio of total number of item failed and total operating time. It is designated with lambda. So it is a probability. The probability of the product surviving until time t or product reliability at time t is given by the following function. Rt is equal to e to the power minus lambda t. Failure rate versus lifespan of the product. 
actually we start using a new machine a new system so there is high chances to fail during start of its lifespan but this failure rate keep on decreasing till a certain time which is denoted by uh, shown by the point b in the figure actually a to b is early failure we will be discussing about the reason behind early fa failure b to c is the constant failure rate we we are using the system we are taking all the precautions under stated working conditions and the failure rate is very low and constant but near to the end of life at point c its failure rate keep on increasing till point d which is the maximum failure rate so what are the reason behind a to b b to c and c to d let us discuss a to b which is known as early failure or infant mortality due to teething problem actually caused by the design or material flaw or mishandling during transaction we purchase a new machine there may be a fault in any of the components of the machine or any machine component is made up of faulty material or there may be some mishandling during transaction from the manufacturer to distributor from distributor to retailer or from retailer to actual customer this is called infant mortality so during this period the failure rate is quite high but it becomes constant during b to c and becomes very low c to d again due to wear and tear of many of the parts due to near the expiry of the many parts the failure rate rate keep on increasing next is failure rate of how to calculate as we see the failure rate keep on decreasing then constant then increasing but to calculate the failure rate we must assume it as exponential distribution or it remains constant over life of the product so this bar tub curve which is the shape of bar tub becomes a straight line so we can use the formula number of item fails divided by total duration of the so this is again a example of bartup curve infant mortality normal life or constant failure rate or near the end of life due to wear the increasing failure rate we will take the example we have tested 10000 items for 100 hours each out of 10000 120 item were failed during test so the failure rate is total item fail divided by total operating time which comes out 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 4 now we have to calculate the reliability of the product after 1000 hours so the formula is rt equal to e to the power minus lambda t Here t is 1000, so we calculate the reliability at 1000 hours equal to 0.887. It means the item has 88.7 percent chance of surviving surviving for 1000 hours. So the probability density function of the failure is lambda e to the power minus lambda t. Reliability function is e to the power minus lambda t, and probability of failure from 0 to t is 1 minus e to the power minus lambda t now we will consider actually we know 
each and every machine is composed of many components. These components may be arranged in series or in parallel or combination of series and parallel. So we will take the example of series system. If all the components are arranged in series, how will we calculate the reliability of the combined system? So reliability of combined system is product of reliability of each and every component R1 into R2 up to Rn. If we will take the example of parallel system, all the components are arranged in parallel 1 to N then reliability of the combined system Rs is 1 minus 1 minus R1 into 1 minus R2 and so on up to 1 minus Rn. So this example is the combination of series and parallel. So first we will make parallel component into equivalent series component and then we will make we will calculate the net reliability. Again we are considering an example of part whose failure rate is given as 0.333 per hour. Two more factors are given in the numerical quality factor and environment factor. So net failure rate is equal to base failure rate into quality factor into environmental factor. Another example we have three components arranged in series with different reliability. What is the reliability of the system? So naturally the reliability of the combined system is the product of these three. So net it comes out 0.684. Here we have four components arranged in series. We have to calculate the reliability at 100 hours. So first we will calculate the reliability of individual which is e to the power minus lambda t and t is same for all the three, all the four. So we calculate reliability of combined system for 100 hours which is 0 0.4493. Next we will take an example of parallel system. We have four components a, b, c, d. We have to calculate the reliability of the system for 700 hours. Our data is given as failure rate of A, reliability of B, mean time to failure of C. Actually mean time to failure is the reciprocal of failure rate and the reliability of D. So first we will calculate the reliability of A, the data failure rate is given, so e to the power minus lambda t. 0.6126 for C the MTTF is given which is the reciprocal of lambda so e to the power minus T divided by MTTF so answer comes out 0 0.6065 and reliability of D is given reliability of D is given so we will calculate the reliability of parallel system RS 0.998. How to improve reliability? We can improve the reliability with improving design by over design. If we use higher safety factor, larger safety factor, we will improve the reliability. If we put stress on weaker component, so we will try to improve the reliability of the combined system. If we will focus on the transportation, good practices of packaging, shipment and handling, then the infant mortality rate can be 